Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I will talk about the Chrome OS 89 and all the new features that recently released. This is a staple Chrome OS 89, which was released, I think, yesterday. This is the 10th birthday of the Chromebooks, and that's why Google released this update, which is packed with so many new features, which is really nice to have it, finally. And I will showcase them on my Lenovo Chromebook Duet, which is connected using USB-C to the monitor here. And there I will show you all the main features. There will be some small new features that maybe I will, cannot talk about them in this video because I have to also use it completely to show you guys in the most probably in the next video. So please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. So let's get it started. As you guys can see here, I have the I already installed the Chrome OS 89. You can see the version here, the build version here. This is a, again a stable version. And if you click on what's new, it will take you the, to the new window. It will show you all the new features here. I will go through these main features now and show them step by step what you can find in the new Chrome OS So 89. let's get it started. I will start with the directly control your Android phone. This is a phone hub. It means that I already installed it. You can also see the icon here. It means that the continuity between your Android phone and the Chromebook. So if you have an Android phone, you can now control this phone, some of the settings using your Chromebooks. If you already activated, you just need to go to the settings here, then go to the, yeah, I have the Pixel 4 here. So it's enabled. I use it now for making the video. You can see that phone hub is new here. If you turn on, you can have the notification turned on and also recent Chrome tabs. I already set it up and you can finally see this icon here. When you click on that, it will try to connect to the, your phone. Now it's connected. It shows the battery percentage. It shows the silence phone, locate phone. And also most importantly for me, it's enable hotspot because this Lenovo Chromebook Duet doesn't have LTE. So if you're outside, and you don't need to open your phone, open the hot start. You can directly do it from the Chromebook. That makes the life a little bit easier. And also you have this recent Chrome tabs that you open with your phone. You just click on that. It will open the recent Chrome tabs. This can be also really useful. So that was actually it for the first main features. And if you click on the settings, it will just take you to this window here. Let's continue with the second part of the features. That's to get online faster with Wi-Fi sync. You guys shortly see my cat here. <laughs> Wanted to run here. I don't know why. I think I took her place here. So <laughs> that was funny. Let's continue with the online faster with Wi-Fi sync. I, you can get better Wi-Fi syncs between your Android phones and the Chromebooks. That's nothing too much to talk about here, but in general, you will get better sync between your phone and your Chromebook. Let's continue with the next feature, which is the powerful screen capture tools here. This, we had it also in the Chrome OS 88. When you enable the flags, you can get this feature also. I will show it also right now here. If you go to the settings, if you go to the screen capture here, you can select the specific part of the window and also the full screen if you want. This is a specific part of the window and then you can make a video or you can make a picture. It depends on you, but the video is the new option here. And if you want, you can also from the settings, turn on and off the microphone. Next, so we have this critical fight at your fingertip. This is really useful. This is similar to what macOS I will say has. What it means if I go to the files manager here, I have this folder here. I can pin this to the shelf now. So you guys see, now I have this folder here. And when I click on that, it will just open this folder. And I will pin also one more file. I will pin this also this video to the shelf here. Now I have multiple files. I can click on this video and it will open the video. It will start playing the video and I can close it also. If you want to unpin it, you just need to come here and click on unpin and it will be unpinned from here. Again, if you want to unpin, go to the new one, pin to shelf, it will come here. Then again, if you don't want it, unpin it. Really useful, really handy. So another feature is safe this copying and pasting in the clipboard. You can now save five latest uh, uh, copying items. 
So you just need to copy Control V, Control C, and Control V. I will do Control C one file, one text here, one text here. I will do one more, and I will do this one also. So now I control, I copied three items. Now I open the Google Docs here. I will Control V. It will do the latest one. But now you can choose between five latest from the clipboard. And for that, you just need to click on the search button and the V button to do that. So when you click on the search button and the V, you will see this kind of box here. Then you can choose, choose between your text. I will choose like first text. Then I can do one more time. I can choose another text that I copied, then I can do again. I can I copy three items. Now I have the three items. You can do up to five items, which can be also really useful. So now what we have here, this part is related also about the Google Assistant and how it works and how it's more integrated, integrated into the OS. And then you want to find some definition for a specific word for the translation and definition, you can just select the item and right click and you get, for example, here search Google for definition and more options to do that, which can be also really useful. The next is the multitasking with desk got also updated. Here, when you go to the multitasking window, you can also move around the desktops here. You can clearly see it here. You can rename them, that's also useful. But the most importantly, when you reboot your device, these desktops will be saved. So you don't need to set up all of the desktops again, which can be really, really useful. Next, you can personalize your lock screen. That's, we know it from the screensaver. I had also video, you can enable the screensaver here. For that, you need to go to the settings, then you can go to the presentation, and then you can go to the screensaver here and you can toggle this on and off. You can select the photos that you want from your own photos or from the art gallery. And it also shows the temp like a weather temperature. In the beginning, I couldn't make it work on the Lenovo Duet without connecting to the external monitor. In the external monitor, it worked as a screensaver, but in the Lenovo itself, with, when it's not connected, it didn't work. But now with the latest software, it works. Let's continue with the last feature, which is this easily access your media controls. You can now pin this media controls also to your shelf. I will demonstrate that also. I already did that. Let me unpin that. So to show it one more time completely how it works. Now I have the video here from the YouTube. I am now playing it. Now I will try to minimize that as you guys see that. Now it's minimized. Now if you go to the settings also here, like a settings bar, you can go to the select the plate media controls here and you can pin these to your uh, shelf here. Now you have the control from the shelf, which I think it's nicer. I like it also to control it here. And also you can close these you also easily from this shelf here. Also, if, in, if I go to the YouTube music, if I start playing that, it will again automatically will be shown here, as you guys saw. It, so it works for all of the media. So it will be shown here or it will be shown in the settings bar. So you can decide which one you want to select. I prefer to be in the shelf. It looks much nicer and also easy access to control them. So that was all the main features that was included in the Chrome OS 89. There are some small features. I, I, can, I said also optically, you can see this, this file like folder also has different icon. So there will be definitely small features, which I will make in future a new video about that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys in the next one.